In this video, I want to do an example of multi-body systems by using uh, Newton's second law. And this particular example is uh, a little more sophisticated than we usually see in physics textbooks, but we'll see that it reduces down to be the same thing, and uh, we'll make the math easy by setting it up the same as most of the examples you see. So we have a tractor pulling an air seeder with a seed cart in the back. The full seed cart has a mass of 10,000 kilograms and the seeder drill is 6,000 kilograms. Without the seeders down, there's 470 newtons of friction in the system. So that's just from wheel bearings and whatever friction the wheels might encounter as you're pulling them, etc. At what rate will the system accelerate if the tractor applies a force of 11,000 newtons at the hitch of the seeder? If half of the frictional forces are from each implement, what will be the tension in the seed cart hitch? So we've got two separate questions here. So let's do one at a time. The first one is asking for the rate of acceleration of the system. So let's start by setting up a free body diagram and making this look a little more like our typical scenarios. So if I start with the seed cart in the back, we're told that has a mass of 10,000 kilograms. I'm going to draw a connector, which we could just call the hitch. But essentially, a lot of problems, this is a rope or something like that. But it doesn't make any difference, right? There's something that holds the tension in between. And in this particular example, it's a hitch with a pin. In front of that is going to be the drill itself, which we are told has a mass of 6,000 kilograms. And this is being pulled by the tractor with a certain applied force. I want to note that the tractor is not really part of the system here because we are told that the tractor applies a force of 11,000 newtons at the hitch of the seeder. So there's more force applied by the tractor to overcome the tractor's own friction, of course, and to pull the tractor itself. But left or remaining at the hitch of the tractor is 11,000 newtons to pull the implements. So this equals 11,000 newtons. So for the first question, we can really treat this like a single object. And I'm going to do that to simplify our free body diagram. So this is like we have one object here with a total mass of 16,000 kilograms, has an applied force on it of 11,000 newtons, and it also has a frictional force on it of 470 newtons. So let's start with finding the net force acting on our system here. And it's obvious enough that it's 11,000 minus 470. But to be rigorous in my math, I'm going to define a direction to be positive. So in this case, we're not told any direction, but we know that the tractor is going to move in a direction. So let's let that direction forward be our positive direction. So then our net force is equal to 11,000 newtons in that positive direction minus 470 newtons of friction in the opposite direction. So that leaves us with 10,530 newtons in the positive direction. Well, we know that that net force that's applied on this entire system of the seed drill and the cart has to be equal to that total mass of the system. So I'm going to label that MT for the total mass times the acceleration of that system. And again, we have to make sure that each of these variables, the force and the mass and the acceleration, are referring to the same thing. And in this case, they're all referring to our entire system. Right? We're just treating it as if it's one object. So our net force is 10,530 newtons. That is equal to our total mass of 16,000 kilograms times our acceleration. And this is how we're going to solve for the acceleration of the system. We'll divide both sides by 16,000 kilograms. And if you do that on your calculator, will end up with 0 0.6581 newtons divided by kilograms. We know that newtons is kilograms times meters per second squared. So the kilograms will cancel out, leaving us just meters per second squared, which thankfully is the same units as acceleration. So our acceleration is 0 0.6581 meters per second squared in the positive direction. And we're going to bring that down to three significant digits, so 0 0.658 meters per second squared. So that should be the acceleration of our system. We could specify that it's forward. And now we can move on to the second part of the question. So we're told that half of the frictional forces that there are, so half of the 470 newtons, are from each implement. 
So half on the cart, half on the seed drill. What will be the tension in the seed cart hitch? So we're looking for a, a tension. And we know that tension is just the force. So it's, it's asking us how much force is left to apply to only the cart. So we know that accelerating the seed drill absorbs some of our force, some of our 11,000 or 10,500 newtons. And the rest is left to accelerate the cart. So it's kind of like we are looking at the, the second half of our system here. And we're wondering, what is this force that's left to apply to this cart? So what's left after you subtract the force from the C drill? Well, let's start with drawing another free body diagram that is specific to the situation we're interested in. So now we have this, we're just interested in the cart. It is 10,000 kilograms. We know that there is a frictional force acting on it of 470 divided by 2 newtons, because it's half of the 470 newtons. There is some other force applied, which uh, in the wording in the question, it's called the tension. So I'll label it F of T. Whether you call that tension in the hitch or the force applied, it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, for example, our hitch pin has to be able to sustain this amount of force. And we also know that this system has an acceleration because we just calculated that. And that acceleration is 0 0.6581, use an unrounded number, meters per second squared. Now you might be wondering, well, we just calculated that for the entire system and now we're focusing on one part. But remember, the acceleration can't change. Both of those things have to accelerate at the same rate, otherwise they would come apart, of course. So that's nice because now we have enough information to be able to use our F net formula equal to MA. And now again, let's think about each of the parts we're using. So we're talking about the net force acting on this seed cart. So I'm going to label it F net C for cart. And that is equal to the mass of the cart times the acceleration of the cart. And I'm not going to label C by the acceleration because the acceleration of the cart is the same as the acceleration of the entire system. So the net force on the cart, we actually don't know. We're going to need to find that and subtract the frictional force in order to find out the force of tension. But we do know, of course, the mass of the cart, which is 10,000 kilograms. And we know the acceleration of the system, which is 0 0.6581 meters per second squared. So that's uh, four zeros. That's like moving the decimal four places over. We get 6,581. And now we have kilograms times meters per second squared. We know that kilograms times meters per second squared is just the unit of newtons. So I want you to stop and think about what this piece of information means. Because we know the mass of the seed cart and we know the acceleration of the seed cart, we know that this number has to be the net force acting on that seed cart. And if you look back at our free body diagram, that means that 6,581 newtons has to be equal to the sum of all of our forces. And the sum of those forces is the force of tension or the force at the hitch minus the force of friction. Okay, and we also know what that number is. So 6,581 newtons is equal to the force of tension, which is what we want to solve for, minus this 470 divided by two. So half of the frictional forces. So if you do that division and add that number to both sides, you should get that 6,816 newtons is equal to the force of tension or the applied force at that hitch point. Again, stop and think, make sure this answer makes sense. Number is slightly higher than the net force, and that makes sense because there was a frictional force which was subtracted out of it. If you also compare to some of the other numbers we had, for example, the tractor applying a force of 11,000 newtons, well, this is a bit over half of that. But remember that the weight of this seed cart was quite a bit more than the weight of the drill as well. So it makes sense that we have more than half of the force remaining to apply to this part of our system. So we can comfortably say that this force of tension is the force that that hitch pin has to be able to withstand. So I hope looking at this scenario in these two pieces can help you understand that we need to really take our Newton's second law formula of F net equals MA and just apply it to the part of the system that we're interested in.